Reggae is it a new art form? 1. Of the more intriguing aspects of the current popular music scene is the amount of reggae, ska and blue beat that has gotten into the pop 30. To many observers of contemporary music this development of interest in what appears to be an extremely primitive form seems like a serious case of lowering standards in public taste and dangerous assault on the cause of progression. Boom yet it could well be that the blue beat boom or escalating ska phase is a pointer to a new sophistication among the nation's young record buyers. The common belief is tie only the skinhead faction by their records out of perverse delight in affronting the intelligence of those who have been busy raising the standard of pop for the last 10 years. Not so. Many hip fans are now turning towards an art form that only the deaf cannot see and to which only the blind will not listen. Honest for reggae, in the opinion of many reliable musicologists, is a manifest tatayon of a far more valid, honest and a authentic derivation from African music than either jazz, blues or calypso. The sound of Long Shot by the Pioneers or Wet Blanket by Max Waxy and the Hill and Gully Riders on the Bova label, closer to the polyrhythmic and atonal tribal dance melodies of West Africa than anything Cream or Led Zeppelin could hope to achieve. Slaves When the slaves of West Africa were transported to the West Indies they took their rhythms with them, much to the relief of the remaining inhabitants. In today's West Indian pop we can still hear that distinctive weak shuffle beat and authentic anemic vocals, not to mention the highly valid out-of-tune guitar, a critical appraisal by Christopher J. Welsh saxophone and trumpet playing. Struck when, Dr. Isambard, Scarface, Capone first recorded them in Africa as late as 1936 he told learned societies in a lecture tour, I was immediately struck by the unique quality of their out-of-tune guitar, saxophone and trumpet playing. There are absolutely no European influences in reggae at all. Those come gleefully to detect who hoping Schumburg, Prokovlev, Copland, Stockhausen, Cookhausen, and Russell Unwin will be disappointed. Pure for this is pure African music that we hear, the swoop and slash of the blood-stained spear in every drum beat, the howl of a nation demanding freedom in every cry of it mech and ignats. Those with an analytical mind will readily detect a kind of mathematical inevitability in the special structure of the quaint chord formations, a tendency to seeping inertia in the basalt-like layers of rhythmic perplexity. Direct Boghausen, the German chemist, once wrote at Worm 1612, Luther. No tighter, which many interpret as a direct prophecy of the Holocaust to come. Many of the sounds of reggae are music concrete, or cement waltz, some of the everyday sounds that occur in the reggaeist's life, a dripping tap, a lavatory being flushed, the sound of a stomach, the beauty of a bird call thus, ark, ark. Belay there. Yes, reggae can be a frightening, but often moving experience.